Okay, class. Uh, let's look at today's problem. Today we'll look at uh, a simple uh, model analysis problem. So the structure we'll do a model analysis is a cantilever beam. So fix at one end, and we'll look at is uh, the first six natural frequency and the normal mo normal modes of the beam. So the material used is structural steel, uh, geometry was 100 centimeter long and cross area 10 times 10 centimeter square cross section. Okay, now we jump to the workbench and what we'll do here is, we'll, this time we'll use model analysis. So find the model here. And because we're using structural material, which is the default material, so we don't need to input uh, the new material data. And then we directly go to geometry. Geometry is a 3D, so, and solid bodies, so checked, checked. And then we launch geometry editor. Okay, here we first set up uh, the unit. So go to File, Space Claim Option, Find Unit, where we will use centimeter. And we'll use 10 centimeter. Oh, let's use one centimeter, so it looks better for the minor grid spacing. Okay, so. And then we select sketching area, XY plane, use plane view. First, I will draw a 2D cross area. So you can pick a rectangle and then start drawing 10 by 10. So 10 by 10, click. Now we have a 10 by 10 cross area and then we'll pull it out. Use pull function and can roll, roll into a 3D perspective and then pull it out. So you can input 100 centimeter. Okay, that's it. Now we have the geometry, let's close that. And we launch the, the model, mechanical model. Here we'll do a model analysis means to find the natural frequency of this structure. All right, and then we'll go to the geometry, make sure that this is structural steel, yes, has been assigned. And then go to the mesh, we'll mesh it. So we can insert this mesh in size. We'll use the bodies filter to choose the whole body, apply. And then we go to the element size, uh, record here the, meter unit have been used so considering that I will use 0 0.01 0 0.01 meter which is one centimeter and then right click on mesh generation mesh all right now we have the we have the meshed structure and then go to the model first thing is we want uh, to set that 
how many modes we want to do the analysis. Here you can change to change the number. Okay, so because six is what we want to use, so we will use the default value six, and then we'll apply boundary condition. And interesting thing about model analysis is even you don't apply boundary condition, you, and you can still run the model analysis. So which is different from the static static structural analysis? You have to apply boundary condition to make sure that your structure does not move, rotate, or translate. But for model analysis, this is not necessary. But still for this problem, because we have fixed boundary condition, so, and we'll fix Y end, we'll choose the surface, the surface filter has been selected, apply to it. Okay, so once applied to it, and then we can go to the solution and we'll look at the deformation and well once we we put a deformation here and go to the detailed de deformation it will ask you that which mode you want to show for this deformation so we have six mode so that means we need insert six deformation total deformation and each one correspond to one uh, vibration mode. One more here, three. I will do this six times. Fourth mode. Fifth mode. Sixth mode. Okay, so, and then after that, solve the problem. Alright, now we get the result and we'll go to the first deformation and we look at the video and we'll see that how the first deform uh, f f for the first vibration and it vibrate horizontally and we look at the second vibration mode and vibrate vertically. Well the third one it and this mode in, in, is more interesting is because it's like uh, the wavelength of the vibration become shorter that means it's higher frequency and also you can read the frequency of this vibration and you can check others and this one is still similar but along different direction and this one, this vibration mode is interesting, it's twisting. So you twist the structure, it starts to vibrate in uh, rotationally. And the last one, longitudinally vibration. Well, if you, uh, you, want, if you want to get more vibration mode, you can change this value, let's say to uh, whatever you want to get uh, and then in the solution you add more total deformation to virilize the vibration mode okay so uh, here I want before we leaving this I want to show you that even we suppress this fixed support see this fixed support has been removed and we can still do the calculation click solve So unlike the struct, static structural analysis, for the model analysis, you don't, it doesn't even need the fixed support. You still can perform the model analysis. But the thing is when you uh, free the fixed support, what happens is for the first few vibrations, the frequency 
is zero. So second mode zero, third mode zero, and well, the other mode is start show there's a frequency value shows up. So when you don't apply any support, the first few, uh, the first few deformation is uh, zero. So zero that has no physical meaning. So and you can uh, add more and find non-zero vibrations, and that will have physical meaning. Okay. Uh, that's all for this video. We'll stop here.